May is National Skin Cancer Awareness Month, which works to raise awareness about skin cancer and promote early detection. I spoke to Pike County Public Health Director Tammy Riley to learn more. Well, what most people might not know is that there's over 5 million cases of skin cancer diagnosed in the United States every year. So skin cancer is the most common cancer occurring in America. So it's a really important issue and there's risk factors that include your skin type, so like fair skinned individuals, uh, redheads are at higher risk of skin cancer. Those that have had prolonged you know, tanning uh, history uh, or prolonged exposure to UVA, UVB uh, light. Um, also genetics plays a role in skin cancer, so if there's a family history and so forth. Um, individuals who've had organ transplant, those immunocompromised as well, and, and individuals that are on certain types of medication have a higher risk of skin cancer. Do you worry about having enough money to last throughout retirement? Give Reed Potter at Raymond James a call. Reed has 26 years experience helping folks enjoy their best life in their retirement years. When skin cancer is detected early, the five-year survival rate for melanoma is 99%, making regular exams vital. Really any change in your skin, but uh, particularly if you have a new sore uh, or a mole or any kind of growth on your skin, it seems to be growing rapidly or a rapid change to your skin. If you have um, a spot or a mole um, that is irregular in shape, changing color, changing size, any of those types of changes are the warning signs and what we need to be looking for uh, skin cancer, uh, which really leads into what we can be doing to avoid skin cancer, but also get that early detection. So we need to be very familiar with our skin, our skin type, uh, you know, moles, watch those moles and have our monthly self exams, but also, you know, seek a dermatologist and have those annual skin exams. For more information, go to skincancer.org. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.